Hey, I'm John with JohnLaGuardia.com, bringing you tips and tools for outdoor adventure. I'm a commercial photographer and gear reviewer, and on this channel, I do tutorials, gear reviews, and I help brands get their word out about their great products. In this video, we're going to take a look at the F-Stop Talopa Backpack. Let's head out to the field and check it out. Okay, thanks for joining me out here in the field. If you are new to the channel, uh, welcome, and please consider subscribing down below. Really appreciate that, that really helps the channel. And today we're talking again about the uh, F-Stop Talopa 50 liter backpack. I have the model in Nasturtium Orange. And yes, I had to look up that word. Uh, Nasturtium actually is a type of edible flower. Uh, which is fitting for the outdoors. Uh, but these flowers sometimes pop with brilliant orange color in the summer and the fall. So I thought that was pretty cool and the, they really nailed this color. It really matches uh, that type of flower. So I'm gonna spin around here the Talopa Adventure and Travel Camera Backpack. It's chocked full of great features. Let's see if I can hold this up a little bit. It's pretty heavy, I've got all my gear in here for today. But it is a workhorse of a bag that has a 50 liter internal capacity, uh, full length side zippers, and uh, front zipper pockets, and a top lid that's easily accessible. The pack is made from weather resistant 420 denier ripstop nylon, and it's combined with TPU or thermoplastic polyurethane, and that deflects direct moisture on the bag. Uh, so it's very durable material and uh, very innovative uh, from a weather sealing standpoint. It's not completely waterproof, uh, but it is weather resistant. Uh, there are weather sealed zippers and zipper garages that fold over to protect the zipper access openings. You also have uh, this jersey padded um, laminated hip belt as well. Uh, which is extremely comfortable. Same on the shoulder pads as well, or shoulder straps rather. There's additional comfort uh, here on the back with uh, a lot of notching out in the back of this for uh, breathability. So. On the sides here and on the front of the backpack, you can attach um, other gear. There are mounting points all over this, including some molly straps as well. And F-Stop sells what they call gatekeeper straps that easily strap to the mounting points on this backpack for ease of use. Now inside the backpack there's a few features too. There's a multi-purpose sleeve that can be used for electronic devices such as a laptop or it can be used to house a hydration bladder. There's also an internal aluminum frame that gives support to even the heaviest of loads. Now the beauty of F-Stop bags is that they have what's called internal camera units or ICUs that can be integrated on the inside of the bag. They fit perfect on the inside and they have adjustable padding to keep all of your camera gear safe, secure, and protected. Uh, the ICUs come in various sizes from small to extra large. And here I have both the large and medium ICUs to give you an idea on how much additional space there is in the bag once the ICU is inserted. For multi-night backcountry trips, the amount of space for other items such as a sleeping bag, clothes, tents, and maybe even a bear canister will depend on the size of ICU and what photo gear you plan to carry with you. F-Stop sells various bundles that include different size ICUs, uh, including a rain cover and other accessories too. And the one I have here is the Essentials Bundle which is the bag, the ICU, and the rain cover. And that runs about 450 and includes um, all of those items. I also have the uh, large drone accessory pouch, which costs an additional 50 bucks. So I've tried to show you here all the features of this bag. 
Uh, so let me know in the comments below what you liked most about what you've seen so far. And if you're getting value out of this video, please hit that like button as well. Although the Tilopa is one of the very best and most durable packs on the market today, it also comes with a huge 20 year warranty. And I have to ask you, like, how could you go wrong with a 20 year warranty? <laughs> Especially when you compare that with other packs that are currently out on the market today. I've had this one for about a month now and I absolutely love it. And in addition, I own another F-Stop bag that I've had since 2014. It's been an amazing pack. It's literally gone around the world with me to China and back uh, multiple times and it has held up extremely well. I have not had any issues with it whatsoever. And that's quite a long time to own a backpack. So who is this pack for? Anyone going outside on adventures and wanting to bring along a decent amount of camera gear, which could include like two bodies, a variety of lenses. Um, I've got uh, a 70 to 200 in here. I've got a uh, 24 to 70. I've got a 100 millimeter macro and I've got a 50 mil um, along with two bodies. So uh, there's quite a bit of gear in here and it's still very comfortable, easy to carry. Um, it, don't get me wrong though, that with that much gear, it does get pretty heavy. Um, this pack is really for adventure photographers, landscape photographers, and anyone who travels uh, uh, regularly with camera gear. So what doesn't this pack have? Um, it's pretty much got everything. They've done an excellent job, but one thing I notice is there's no water bottle pockets on the sides like most bags have. Um, I guess the assumption is that you'll use a water bladder in the back uh, for hydration and using the hydration port, but uh, that's not all bad, uh, but some of us do like to uh, carry Nalgene bottles with us when we go hiking and stuff. And so I think those side zipper pockets, you could probably stash one in there. But in the wintertime, if you've got skis on the sides of this pack and you're hiking a couloir or something and you want to take um, some Nalgene bottles with you, uh, that's going to be a little more difficult unless you've got room on the inside in the main body of the pack. So. Uh, that's what that would be my pro tip just uh, put it on the main part of the pack or use a water bladder and call it good to go Now let's head back to the studio for some FAQs about this great pack Okay, so let's move on to some FAQs about the f-stop Tilopa backpack and the first question I have is Is this backpack good for overnight backpacking trips and in my opinion? I do think it is um, what I would recommend though is packing with a smaller internal camera unit or ICU on the inside of the bag. Put that down at the bottom and then you'll have plenty of room for other things like a sleeping bag, sleeping pad, a tent, um, other things that you would take backpacking and those essentials. You'll have plenty of room for an overnight backcountry trip. So the second question is can this backpack be taken on a plane as a carry-on? And yes, it definitely can. You just don't want to pack it too full. So my recommendation would be don't overstuff this bag if you're going to take it on as a carry-on. It will fit under the middle seat on, say, a Southwest flight. Uh, that's perfect for this bag. However, if you end up overstuffing it and it's a little bit too big, just throw it up in the overhead compartment and you should be good to go. For our third question is real simple. What colors does it come in? It comes in orange, black and green and lastly how can this backpack be used off the ground and what I mean by that is how can you access your camera gear while you have the backpack on you won't do this very often but I'll just give you a quick demonstration on what that might look like so you've got the bag on um, and you've got your uh, hip belt strapped you probably can't see that in the video here but Got the hip belts uh, strapped and what you'll do is you'll just slide your arms out of the bag, keep the hip belt uh, attached to you and then just pull the bag around like this and you can see I'm hands free and I have access to unzip the back of the bag and access all my camera gear. So very quick and easy to uh, pull a camera out of here snap a picture, put it back in, and then pop it right back on your back. And that's it for our Q&A. 
But although this video is not sponsored, I just want to give a shout out to F-Stop and thank them for sending me this equipment uh, for this particular review. I really appreciate it. And you might want to know that right now, F-Stop ships these bags to the United States and the European Union for free. They also have a 45-day risk-free trial, so how could you go wrong? I highly recommend that you give this bag a try for yourself. Check out the F-Stop Tilopa down in the comments below. I've left a link for you. You can click on that, go right to their store on Amazon, and check out this awesome bag. And I'll see you in the next video.